Do you want to know what the best drones are for inspections? I have a whole bunch of drones that I'm going to try out, but specifically I'm going to be focusing on three drones in today's video. The Mavic 3 family, the Air 3, and the Mini 4 Pro. Why? Because these are all the most newest drones, but they also have incredible zoom features, which of course for inspections and seeing small intricate details are very important. I'm going to be flying a couple missions, and we're also going to take a deep dive into what makes these drones specifically very special when it comes to inspections. So let's do that real quick. So here's the entire family of drones, the three drones that we're going to be looking at. The DJI Mini 4 Pro, the Air 3, and the Mavic 3. Now the Mavic 3 family is all kind of going to be covered um, depending on which combo of cameras. DJI reuses some of the cameras from the Air 3, specifically the 3X. In the Mavic 3 Pro, I happen to have all cameras represented here, so you'll be able to check and see which one of those is best for inspections. So specifically the Mini 4 Pro comes in the cheapest. It's got 360 degree obstacle avoidance. And it also has a very nice upward tilt on the camera. So it can go all the way up to about 60 degrees on this camera. The Air 3 also follows that same pattern as if the camera rotates up about full 60 degrees, allowing you to look up at objects when you're inspecting. Then the Mavic 3 only goes up to about that 30 degrees. So you get that full 30 down to 90 degrees. However, if you want to look up at something that does get restrictive. When it specifically comes to the camera assemblies, the Mini 4 Pro has the same sensor size. I believe it's what is it, one over one third inch sensor size in here. It does 48 megapixels, which allows you to zoom in a little bit better. However, smaller sensor, of course, means that it struggles a little bit with noise and may not be as beneficial as a larger sensor with a little bit less pixels. We'll check that out, of course, when we check the Mavic. Anyway, this is a single sensor. You only get one of them and there is no zoom or there is digital zoom, but realistically you're stuck with just the same sensor. So the interesting thing about the Air 3 here is that it actually uses the same main primary sensor as on the Mini 4 Pro. So I believe it is this bottom sensor is identical as in it is the same camera assembly. It is realistically the same sensor and components there. You're not really getting anything new by getting the Air 3 unless you're looking for that zoom camera. Now, that zoom camera is going to be important because it's a 3x zoom camera and it's also 48 megapixels. I believe it's the same sensor but a different lens assembly there. And of course that's going to be very important for inspections as well, specifically when trying to get some detailed and close and intricate shots. Now I happen to just have the Mavic 3, but if you wanted to get the Mavic 3 Pro, then you would have the same sensor that's on this or the same camera assembly for the 3x. On here as well so you have the 7x you have the main primary four thirds inch sensor here and that's like a 20 megapixels and then the top um, 7x is a 12 megapixels and then if you got the mavic 3 pro you'd have the same sensor that's on the air 3 and that would be that 3x 48 megapixels now the battery life in theory for all these can be about 45 minutes um, the minis batteries are actually a little cheaper so maybe something to consider if you want a longer inspection time um, however, the Air 3 and the Mavic 3 come with only 45 minute batteries. Of course, the Air 3 is about $300 more. And then if you get a Mavic 3 Pro, that's going to be a little bit more. That's going to be about 2.1K, upwards of 3K, depending on which controller you get. However, I've been seeing a lot of these Mavic 3s with just these two cameras um, on the internet for about $1,200, about the same price as you'd get for an Air 3. And personally, in my opinion, these are a little bit better um, for inspections, but we'll get to that later in a second. All three of these drones support photogrammetry and have a semi-pseudo SDK support for allowing automated flight pass. So if you are looking at creating a 3D model of the roofs or whatever item that you're inspecting, that is now possible. That's with a little bit of software I made called Waypoint Map that allows you basically to autonomously control each of these drones and have them do kind of automated mapping slash 3D modeling missions. I'll include a link to the tutorial about that and a full link to the site down below so you can take a look at that later on if you're interested. So also, real quick, let's talk about price. So the Mini 4 Pro is the cheapest, and I think that's kind of important to talk about because if you're like a roofer or something, I'd definitely make sure you lean towards that. Um, specifically because if you crash this drone, it's like $600, maybe if you're lucky to replace, versus if you crash one of these suckers, you're going to be out a little bit more, maybe like $800, $900, um, and upwards of like 1000 plus. So if you're going through drones a lot, um, which is a very common occurrence, especially in the winter, um, for roofers, that's a very common thing that happens. You may definitely want to consider the cheaper drone. If you're using this more of a general purpose video, etc., then, we'll um, then you probably want to go more with the higher end. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, 
let's talk about, let's do a quick couple missions. We'll do some inspections on some chimneys. I have a job coming up, let's do that. We'll compare the pictures across each of these three drones and see what they look like and what's the benefits of each of them. So real quick, I wanna talk about what happened when I flew the mission because some of this stuff isn't going to be represented that easily in the pictures. Number one is the Mavic 3, specifically with the 7X, is really good for seeing detail. I would argue it's clearly well ahead of everything else. It's much more usable and it allows you to tell a lot of the intricate problems, a lot more detail on the cracks, a lot more detail like the rust, the state of things, etc. However, when it comes to actually taking these pictures, you'll notice that a lot of these pictures came out very blurry. And that's, of course, because the sensor size is so small. And I took these pictures on a rather overcast day. However, it was still rather bright out and it still was a pretty decent sunny day. So it means that these pictures came out relatively bad. And I think if you were doing like an insurance claim as like a roofer, you'd have difficulty arguing, especially because these are so blurry. You either would need to have a brighter day or adjust the settings to how small the shutter as possible, which obviously would cause a lot of noise in your picture. Now actually having some zoom, especially when inspecting, was actually really useful. So I would argue that it allows you to focus and be a little bit more dynamic when you're actually out there, because once the picture is taken, you're done. So having the ability to zoom in and out, I think is very important. So it looks like that the Air 3 and the Mavic 3's main sensor pictures came out good. I believe the Air 3 uh, and the Mini 4 Pro look about identical. And I also think that like the Mavic 3, when the pictures come out well, they look good. Um, but overall, I really think that like the Air 3 does a good job with being usable while you're flying to know like what you need to take more pictures of, but also the pictures tend to come out good. I don't know if like just the Mavic 3 tends to be too close and it's just too sensitive to wind. I think that since it's zoomed in so much, it's very sensitive to movement. I think the Air 3 is just like the perfect balance of zoom in, but also that the pictures come out good. And as you can see through all out here, um, the Air 3 just seems to consistently put out good pictures, especially with some of these inspections. So this is like the top of the roof here. And as you can see, the Mavic 3, especially being just the same distance away, these pictures often come out a little bit blurry. And the Mini 4 again doesn't have that problem, but it's also not as zoomed in. And you can of course get in there with digital zoom, you can zoom in a little bit more. But again, I think that like, the Air 3 just consistently hits the mark, especially with what you're seeing here. You can definitely zoom in probably with these pictures, they're 48 megapixels, you can get a little bit more. The Mavic 3 very clearly is better zoom capability, but again, you can see that there's a little bit of blurriness, and of course even a little bit of noise you can start seeing as well. And this is all taken at really the same distance, actually as soon as I could like fly it far enough away to take the picture, is when I took the picture, so, and at least it focused on its own. But honestly, I think that the Mini 4 Pro would be really good if you weren't terribly concerned about super minute details, and maybe you just wanted to, you know, have a quick flyover, but I think the Air 3 just seems to be overall the best pick, whereas I think the Mavic 3 just, it's too much zoom, and I don't think it's worth justifying getting the Mavic 3 Pro over the Mini or the Air 3, just because I think the Air 2 cameras on the Air 3 are enough. Now, if you really needed that high-end zoom and you wanted to do these inspections real-time and you weren't so concerned with the pictures, I think you'd be fine. I think you'd get away with the Mavic 3 Pro, but just the added cost of all of that, especially realistically, you're talking maybe $500 to $700 just for that additional 7X camera that often just doesn't come out well, at least in my experience, especially with it being so close. I think that when you get the detail, it's great, but after that, it's not the best. And overall, I think the inspection went pretty well. I think there's a lot of good pictures, and I think that if I were to recommend something, I think it'd have to be the Air 3, just for overall quality, with the Mavic 3 being close in second. So I think realistically, in conclusion, I prefer the Air 3 over the other drones. However, I think you could realistically argue if you were doing some low light settings that the 4 thirds inch sensor on the Mavic 3 family is probably your way to go. I think the Mini 4 Pro, not 3 Pro, Mini 4 Pro is probably the best if you were a roofer and you were going to go through drones rather quickly, but I do think realistically you do need some obstacle avoidance, especially navigating Sp complex areas like a roof is a pretty complex area but I can only imagine if you were doing like cell towers and stuff especially that high up I'd be really concerned about hitting something so obstacle avoidance I think is a must 
So my opinion is the Air 3 just because how easily the pictures came out. I'd be interested to know if you guys have any recommendations. I did end up lowering the 7x camera's shutter all the way basically up so that it would be as quick as possible and it pretty much still uh, had some issues. I think it's just too close for it to be reasonable. So there was a lot of blurriness, maybe a better day. I'd love to do a video in the future about like what kind of weather is best for photogrammetry and other different things. 